Hi, welcome to my tutorial today. I'm using the iPad and I'm using Pacific Apps. I'm looking at apps that you can take minutes with in meetings or take notes in lectures. So we need something simple to start off with. What I like about the Memo app is it uses OCR, MyScript technology. So it can actually convert your handwritten text into standard fonts. Really handy for your notes and it gives you the options to export them where you want as well. So let's open up the Memo app and make a start. As you can see from here, it's quite simple, the interface. Now, top left hand corner is where you can start creating notes. Now, on the right of notes, you see that plus button? If I click that button, that will create your first note, and we're ready to go. On the left of that notes option, as you build up your notes, you'll have a list there, and you can choose what you want to delete, what you want to export, and so on. If you actually want to delete a note, click the delete button, click the minus button, then click delete. OK, so I'm going to leave it just on a note. In the middle, we have three options. We have the lasso, eraser, and pen. If you actually tap one that's already highlighted, it gives you more options. Because I've highlighted the pen option, if I tap it again, it'll give me the color options. So I can change the colors if you need to. Bear that in mind, especially when I highlight key points and that. So I'm going to tap back off of that. If I click on the eraser button in the middle, if I double tap that again, it gives me a clear page so I can clear the page quickly. Okay, and I'll explain the lasso option later, which is to separate text from images. Really important when you've got stuff mixed. Top right hand corner, we have the settings option. Personal dictionary, you can add your own words in there by clicking in there and clicking add. Great for personalising your vocabulary. Also, you have page option here. Now you've got background, which gives you different page styles. You might prefer the yellow option. I'm actually going to put it on the yellow option, click back. Now, writing guard tab position, really important. If you're left-handed, choose left-handed. You can see the arrow at the bottom left-hand corner moves. If I click right, it moves to the right. This will actually protect your hand and give you a guard between your hand and the screen on your iPad. So you can write the text properly because it will affect you if you've got your hand resting on the screen. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You've also got export all memo as a MyScript file. Now, anyone that's ever used MyScript files know normally people that use smart pins it's a conversion tool for converting handwritten text into standard fonts really handy click top right hand button again to close that I'm going to click the button in the middle and this is the export button now you can export as text as image or as I just explained as a my script file so I'm going to close that now on the left here the final one you can actually import from your own library and pictures and stuff if you want to import them into your notes another great option so should we give it a go so first thing we need to do before we start writing I'll show you actually as a demo I'm going to start writing now I haven't pulled the guard up and as you can see nothing's happening because my hands resting on the screen and it won't let me write so this is what you need to do so click the eraser button click it again to clear page go to the bottom see that little arrow bottom right double tap it there you go, there's your guard. Now drag it up to where you want to start writing. So I'm going to do a note there, so I'm going to drag it there and do a quick line. Hello, welcome. So let's have a look at that. Hello, welcome. So I'm now going to click the middle button to export it. Again, I can export as text, image, or my script. I'm just going to do as text if it's picking up first. Hello, welcome. Yeah, it's excellent. So I can now choose to copy that and paste it, email it, so if I click email, you can email it to yourself or a friend or whoever you want, delete draft, or if you go to export, you can export it as well as a my script file, it depends on what you really want to do with that. Okay, so I want to go back and close that, and I'm going to show you something else that I explained earlier about using a lasso tool. Now if you've got multiple notes and you've got text and images in there, you might have diagram or quick sketch, you can't export it as text because the text option OCR is not going to pick up diagrams or standard sketches. So what we do is pull down that guard. Let's pop something in there. Let's just do like a, a noughts and crosses. Kind of give you an idea. So say you've done a quick diagram or something. and you want to actually join them and convert them together. So what we can do here is go to the export button again 
and we could export as image which is fine because they're mixed so it's going to pick up the image but it's not converted now before we export that you see at the bottom it's got background you can drag that and get rid of the background just a standard background again as the export image you've got all the options at the bottom including exporting to Dropbox, Evernote, Facebook and Twitter and as you can see I've just got it connected to my Dropbox and Evernote okay so I'm going to click cancel that so what we need to do is separate you might need to separate the actual text from the images so what we do is use a lasso tool so I'm going to click on the lasso tool now let's put a lasso around the image first so just drag around what you want then let go and you can see it automatically creates that little rectangle around it now we can position that if you want but see at the bottom we've got delete cut copy export image or export text now it's no point me exporting this as text because it's not going to pick up poppy so I need to choose export image and I can export just that part as an image choose where I want to save it to now as we've got text in there as well we can use a lasso tool again to create a rectangle around the text doesn't be accurate it picks it up and then we can export that specifically as text and there you go so you could have convert your actual handwritten into text export it to your Mac or your PC into Word then import the images with your notes with your actual text and all your sketches really good combination to work with the middle button if you just click it once you can manually erase what you don't want there as well as so so really really good that app I think and really simple to use if I pull that guard down remember to use that guard it's really important you use that and that's using the memo my script